the, your, uh, the government has uh, made some vaping announcements uh, recently about the control of substances and kids and marketing and products? Flavored uh, vaping products will not be available at any convenience store. Um, it's not that convenience stores were doing something wrong. What we were finding is that there's a lot of black market product out there. How do we control it? How do we make sure that we don't have a situation where people are putting themselves at risk not knowing that they are? We recognize that vaping is an effective tool to help someone stop smoking. But what we're also finding is that people who start vaping who never f smoked will transition over to cigarettes. So we need to find that balance again where we're using it as a tool to help people stop smoking, but we're not using it as a way or industry is not using it as a way to get people into negative activities. Um, with the black market product that we've seen, all of the cases of, of illness as a result of, of vaping, uh, the deaths in the United States have all been black market products, all been products with THC in it. Yeah. Um, we think that if we can control that, that marketplace so that we don't have the black market product going in, we make it a safer product and it can still be used then for cigarette uh, reduction or This COVID-19 has so overtaken the news cycle that we still forget that there were measles outbreaks, there were still all these deaths going on with young mm -hmm. people with vaping, there were a whole bunch of other things kind of percolating along. Uh, but now, but those, you know, COVID's taken over, but you know, those things are still happening. They are, and we need to make sure that we're still addressing them at the provincial level.